When life is hard and everything sucks, you can always turn to prayer. So let's pray to Satan. You summon me. The Devil is a Bottom, allegedly, is the name of an all-worlds video movie from the Lord's year 2000. That's right, the same studio that gave us Playing With Fire 2 and Conquered. Hello there. And the film stars some familiar faces, such as Blake Harper as the Devil and Hans Ebsen as presumably a rape victim. Out! But I hope you're not thirsty, cause this director tastes like ass. The film opens up with an in-depth instruction on how to summon Satan. The power, the kingdom. Uh, hello? My five-year-old son could be watching this, and you're showcasing how to summon the devil? <coughs> I gotta commend him though. This dude only slightly fucks up the prayer. I checked. There are, Father, which in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, and thy kingdom come, will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. Yes, we must forgive those that trespass against us. Is that all about? And would you look at that? It worked. <laughs> you know, somebody paid a lot of money for that mirror, and goddamn, they they used it. You summoned me. But why did the boys summon Satan? It was an accident. Well, why do you think? The boys are unhappy with their lives and have decided to trade their souls in exchange for some satanic perks. Mr. Arizona, I guess, should have wished for some creativity as he goes for the lamest route. I want money. I want more money than I know what to do with. The fuck are you gonna do with money? Done. Hans goes for the power of love. There's someone special. I want to love me. And that's fair. This dude deserves a consensual scene for once. What are you doing, sir? Shut the fuck up. And Blondie wishes for you to leave a like on this video. Plus a big dick. I want a big dick. They do a satanic boy high five and split up to go enjoy their devilish gifts. <laughs> Blondie, who wished for you to smash the like button and a big dick, returns home and is sorely disappointed. Looks like I'm gonna be Mr. Peanut Dick for the rest of my life. How could Satan have lied to me? His daddy taught him to be ashamed of his dick, especially since it's such small size and all, and he cries himself to sleep. But the next morning, the biggest dick is awake. I don't know why Satan's powers require a good night's sleep to work, but Blondie seems pretty happy, so who am I to complain? In fact, he's so happy that he decides to go for a walk in town. And apparently this is the town from Deadly Premonition 2. This is the only explanation I can find as to why the frame rate is so low. Thanks, Sweary. If this is an artistic choice, what is it trying to convey? Does the choppy frame rate represent Satan exploiting this poor boy's hole? Does it symbolize the lack of blood reaching his brain due to his increased member? Or did someone fuck up? Blondie arrives at his destination, where he pays a visit to the footprints of John C. Holmes. Don't know who that is? Well, let's just say that he too had a big dick. It gets bigger when I pull on it. So I guess the movie is trying to say that Blondie wants to follow in his footsteps. Visual storytelling at its finest. I guess Hans also had to wait overnight, as he wakes up the next morning to find a bottle of... Lobe Potion? Was it frontal lobe or temporal lobe? Nah, I just, this note actually says love potion, but Satan used some ungodly font in which the V looks like a B. <laughs> Anyways, enter Greg, the sweatiest man alive, who has a Donald Duck cap. Protein shake. Oh, thank you. Greg is Hans's roommate, who is super straight and has a girlfriend. How's Tina? She's fine. 
She says hi. But uh, let's just say that Hans wants to crack a few gregs. So Hans offers him a protein shake with a hint of lobe. And the cameraman films Greg painfully trying to chug down this entire thing. Weird. What kind of stuff did you put in here? Like regular stuff. Hey Hans, why don't you show us how to make some sweet moves on Greg? The fuck you doing, you fucked up little freak? Nothing. It's okay. No problem. I'm gonna take a shower. Hmm. Maybe it said lobe after all. Or maybe he just has to sleep another goddamn night before it kicks in. What's that? A label? Five minutes? <sighs> At least it's not overnight. Greg thankfully decides to take a shower because god damn was he sweaty. But not even Donald Duck can save him now as he goes from fan of ducks to fan of dicks. Greg, let me in. Greg, let me in. And for the first time in manly movie history, Hans actually turns the tables and goes from victim to perpetrator. I love you. I love you. Still, I wouldn't call this a consensual scene. It kind of makes me wonder. Does Hans have a stipulation in his contract that states that he cannot partake in consensual manly times? Hans, what the fuck? Last, there's uh, Arizona, whose name I'm not gonna bother looking up because I'm lazy. Arizona's cruising down the street, looking for some fun. As per the agreement with Satan, he is now super rich. You can tell because he has a car and lives in LA. His scene is unfortunately rather short, but if he was looking for a deep boy toy, I think he's hit the jackpot. Tell me, surrounded by all this wealth and luxury, does your soul ever search for anything ennoble, perhaps even spiritual, obscured behind this vast array of material possessions? Nope. Then a whole year passes, and the boys are all back together telling each other how awesome they have it. But, oh no, Satan is back. I have come, come to, to collect. collect. I guess they only bargained for one year? I thought the whole soul deal was you trade your soul for whatever, then when you die, you go to hell. But sure, one year, and all you get is Greg. Oh god. Well, can we work out some kind of payment plan, installment type thing? No. They don't even seem to really care. I guess Satan's powers just corrupted their souls? And now Satan is gonna make them corrupt his hole. The devil is the bottom. His asshole. Mm. But don't worry, gay Jesus is here to save the day. This counts as part two of my Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter video. Deal with it. Not you again. Yes, Lucy, I'm here to whoop your satanic ass. <sighs> Curses. And he saves Hans and Arizona. What is heaven like? It's like delicious organic food, herbal ecstasy, and we have these gigantic interactive Game Boy things with Dolby stereo sound. Cool. But in order to be saved, they have to leave their satanic perks behind. But Blondie decides to stay in hell. Probably to avoid all the priests in heaven who enjoy small dicks, if you know what I mean. So that was The Devil Is A Bottom. Considering this was directed by a can of beer, I'm happy. Good times have been had. And remember to smash that like button. One like equals one prayer. And subscription uh, that equals uh, our daily bread. See you all next time. Greg, let me in.